morning, I'm Lynn, and welcome to another day at Utopia Farms. Uh, last night's video is still uploading, and it's like at 8%, so it's going to be arriving late, so this one may be late too, who knows? Anyway, I think something happened in the barn last night, so let's go have a look. And right away, the Willow's feed dealer is arriving. We ordered a whole bunch more salt, mineral, limestone, milk replacer, all the stuff sheep need. So this is what happened last night. Hi mommy, how are you doing? Hi, that's a really big lammy. That's a really big one. And it's a girl. Yeah, it's really nice. Really nice. This is the pregnant group. We're giving them more straw because they're lambing now. Well, I'm pretty sure the first one lamb this morning I got a scanner, but I'm pretty sure it's from this group. We got two sheep in here with listeriosis, which is really bad. We're treating them, but listeriosis is something that they rarely come back from. It's, by, it's caused by eating mold in the feed, usually. All of the bales have a little bit of mold. We try to pull any mold spots out that we see. But um, it's sometimes hard to get it all, and usually they won't eat it. But occasionally, um, someone who's really greedy or really hungry is going to eat it. And a lot of times, too, we toss the old bedding out, which has usually got the bad pieces of hay, and for some reason when you toss it out, they think they're gonna, they're gonna go eat it now. So who knows, but it's not good. We're gonna hope for the best. But in the meantime, they're gonna get some really nice bedding. One of the big girls that's due to have a lamb, she came to say hello. Where did that other one run off to? Why was she running like that, do you think? Hey. Hi. You're a special one. Isn't she beautiful? Hi, sweetheart. You in your cart? Remember the ewe that lost the little tiny lamb? I told you she had blood in her udder. So we've been treating her with drugs and we milked her out again today because we don't want to milk her enough that she keeps producing milk, but we want to take the pressure off and clear up her udder. And that's what you can see that it's pink milk. One side is um, producing the pink milk, but the other side is clear now. So. Hopefully, she's not acting sick at all. She's acting great, but uh, we want to look after it anyway. Hi buddy, how you doing? The guy who just ran around the corner there. The guy who's at the back. That's Lazarus. Maybe he's going to 
going to go around the back again so I can show them to you. Lazarus, is that you? Not, not the female at the front, but the one behind is Lazarus. Here he comes. There he is. All right, here. Big guy, there he goes. The one with the big floppy ears. Ugh. Okay, we just had this girl. She just had triplets. We're tubing these two. Um, we're gonna give them the iodine. The third one we popped into the pen next door with the mom who just had the lamb this morning to see if she'll take it. That's why all these blankets are up against the wall so that they don't see each other. Well, she knew it right away when you took one away. Yeah, she knew right she away when we count. took one. But if we can, that other one has a single and she would be able to raise that one and it would work out perfectly. <laughs> Hey, there you go. They need to be dipped. Oh, you want to dip them? Yep. What were they, boys and girls? I don't know. Oh, you I always like to look at the sexes in the third day to see if they stay alive. No, you don't. You usually do it the second they're born. Hey, buddy. Some yucky stuff there. Sorry. This one here had his head down. Okay, now we can see what, what oh, they are. Just give me a second and don't spill this. Good job, mommy. Good job. This one is a female and a male. So we'll just get her up beside you and she can. Oh, you're going to cheat right away, are you? <laughs> oh, she's and then right away, this you decided to have lambs. She's got twins there. It's hard to see. The black ones are harder to spot on a camera. She's The problem with this you is she's got a massively bad udder. Like, usually Suffolk's have great udders, but this one definitely does not have a good udder. Big, big one, but it's got milk in it. So, automatically. So these are these two? The twins? Two, is, both males? Yeah. Oh. She's got that big muzzle. Look at that. Yeah. She's flat. Really nice one. A, we'll figure out who the dad is and we'll tell you who the daddy is. She's got a really big udder. <laughs> but as you can see, I don't know if you can see it on camera. See, she's got that's yellow colostrum, just what we want. Uh, she's just like Dolly Parton. <laughs> yeah. Hi, Bob. Oh, this guy's a big guy. <coughs> this guy's a killer. <coughs> mm -hmm. Two nice ram lambs. The other ones, I think the triplets were two girls and a boy. <coughs> and the single was a girl. So these guys are quite a lively crew. I probably wouldn't get her up for a second. Just leave her down. That's right. Gosh. She may be clumsy getting up. Well, and she's passing her placenta anyway. Uh, these, I this one these are lively guys. All right now we're going to try bring a group of Suffolk's over uh, to the barn. Uh, we're supposed to have a really big snowstorm tomorrow, so we thought the time to move them was now. Uh, well... Just stay back here. For, she wouldn't go the other way. All it takes is one mom to know where she's going. There we go. Yeah. Do you want me to deke up the side and open the gate? What? No? 
can't hear you when you don't speak up. Come on. They wouldn't go down that big alleyway there. I said they wouldn't go down the big alleyway. Are you sure? for a while. I gotta move a white group over and they, they look kind of comfy. Like they don't feel like moving. <laughs> you guys all having your afternoon naps? Look at them all. Okay, it's mayhem right now. Tessie brought all the Dorset lambs over and the Dorset bottle babies. We're gonna feed them back here now. And just the Suffolk bottle babies will be in the barn for now. And we added to this Suffolk group. And we're gonna leave and let them calm down for a bit right now. Okay, Tiny Mo Tiny's mom is gonna get let out now. When we bring the next group over, she's gonna go into the open group of Dorsets that are back there, the fall moms. And we're doing a trial run with the rejected lamb. She's going to be in this group. See how mom does in a big group now. This is the one that we thought would never work, but it's looking really positive the last couple of days. So the adoption didn't work, so she's back with three. But we're going to be on the hunt for a mom for one of these guys. Good girl. In the meantime, we're going to get some more sheep out of the jugs. So Arnie's trimming this one's hooves. She's been dewormed. And her lambs are up in the pen waiting for her. who rejected her lamb she is the lamb is so excited to be in a big pen with other lambs she's running around having a mad half hour now I can't see because sheep always walk in the way but she's trying to nurse off everyone there she is now she's gonna go try nurse off that one well she was just with the mother but it's like any, any port in this storm will do, and that mom's letting it nurse. <laughs> See, that's the adopted mom. Let her, she let her nurse. But she, she oh, even the mom's happy to be out. But those two have been in a jug for so long, but that mom doesn't like that little lamb. She wants to hit that little lamb. Well, but her lamb's making her excited. <laughs> it's been half an hour and this mom and this baby are still going crazy. It would 
would all be really nice if they were just playing together like that because they are playing together. But if another lamb comes, there's a mom with two little lambs and the mother hits them. The ground shakes when that mom does that. <laughs> see, she's a first timer, so she's still a young you, but it's rare you see yous do that. And she's got an extremely frisky lamb with her. Hopefully this will aid in the bonding process. Oh, you're panting now. No wonder. You guys are having a mad half hour. It's craziness. And that lamb thinks because that mom... Look at She's totally nursing off the other mom now. She's going to nurse off everybody. Because what she's learned is that if a mom's got her head in the feed trough, you can suck right. off her. Oh my goodness, this is the mom with the triplets. All three are laying under here. And mom's got her head in with all of them. So she's keeping them all warm here. Hi, sweetie, you're being a good mom. Three's a lot. You can't even see them in there, but they're in, down in there. You're so pretty. Got a lot of sheep moved again today. I just released Belle and her two lambs in this pen. And the spotty mum with Chinny is hitting them. I don't know why. Introductions of sheep is not always the easiest thing. But this mum has to find where her lambs are. Look, where's your lammy? Look, your lammy's over here. Look, your lammy's right there. There's your lammy, see? That's your lammy under there. There. Okay, so I'm heading in. But we'll do a final check here. These are all the Dorset girls yet to come in. Most of them are eating, but there is one standing back there. One was at the drinker, but the other one looks like she could be lambing. And then in the misfit group, we took out all the white ones today. Because it was just getting to be a terrible mob. So... We're going to feed the white ones in the coverall, and these suffix we're going to feed back here. Then it'll be a little more organized chaos when we feed them. These guys all got nice fresh straw. We had three lamb from this group today. Two of them were sired by felon. And one of them was sired by Snappy. The triplets were by Snappy. Hi. Looks quiet in here for now. <coughs> Everyone looks like they got their spots all cozy. We released. We released a bunch of sheep out of the jugs today as well, including the one that we thought was going to get rejected. Looks like they've finally calmed down a little in this pen. There's a little bit of chaos in here. So we're hoping that that's all going to work out well. 
But we're going to add this U into that group tomorrow instead of today, just so that it's a slow uh. transition for the sheep in that barn. We don't want that mom to decide all of a sudden she doesn't want the lamb. And then I just let Belle and little Chin Chin out. And these are the twins. Triplets are over there. These are Felon's twins. Snappy's triplets. And Felon's single. Well, last I checked, yesterday's video hasn't uploaded yet and already today has gone by so i guess this probably won't be aired until the day after and hopefully that first one will get up anyway thanks for watching and i hope you join us again for the next episode at utopia farms bye for now